As you know well children, flowers are of many sizes, shapes and colors. But all flowers have the same basic parts. Flowers usually have attractive colors and some of them emit sweet smell. We know well children that fruits are formed from flowers and fruits that contain the seeds which germinate to new plants. The flower is a specialized shoot of limited growth bearing reproductive organs, microsporophylls that is stamens and megasporophylls that is carpels. Let us study the flowers in detail and do one activity. Take this datura flower and cut it into half. Now observe the parts clearly. We can see the datura flower has a small stalk at its base called pedicel. Such flowers are called pedicellate flowers. Some flowers do not have the stalk or pedicel and are called sessile flowers. The swollen part over the pedicel is the thalamus. Different parts of the flower are arranged on the thalamus in four walls or rings, one within the other. The thalamus is also called torus or receptacle. It is a suppressed swollen end of flower or the axis on which all the floral parts rest. The parts of a flower are calyx, corolla, andricium that is stamens, gynecium that is pistil. Calyx. The outermost wall consists of five green leaf like structures known as sepals. All the sepals together are known as calyx. In Datura, the sepals are united to form a tube-like structure. It protects the internal parts of a flower. Corolla. The wall lying inner to the calyx is called corolla. The corolla consists of a number of delicate structures called petals. Petals are white in color. In some flowers, petals are bright colored and in some, they give fragrance. They are united to form a tube. In some flowers, petals are free. In some flowers, only few of the petals are fused and the rest are free. Petals attract insects for cross-pollination. Andricium, that is stamens. The long thin structures present inside the corolla are called stamens. The stamens are five in number and united with the petals up to a certain length. In some flowers, stamens are free and not united with petals. Stamens are the male reproductive parts of the flower and are collectively known as andricium. A single stamen has a stalk called the filament and an expanded part at its tip called the anther. When the anthers are ripe, they produce fine dust-like particles called pollen or pollen grains. The pollen grains are male gametes which help in fertilization. Gynecium. This is a female part and is also known as pistil. The base is swollen and known as ovary. A thin long tube like structure starting from ovary is called the style. The tip of the style is larger than the rest of the style and is called the stigma. Thus, the pistil has three parts namely ovary, style and stigma. Let us do one activity. Cut the ovary along across its length and observe. The ovary has two to four chambers in which grain like structures called ovules are present. Ovules contain female gametes. Andricium and gynesiums play an important role in sexual reproduction. Hence they are known as essential parts of the flower. The calyx and corolla protect the essential parts of the flower and also attract the insects for pollination. Hence they are known as accessory parts of the flower.